Welcome back to the channel and today we have a brand new Jack Wolf. This is the Midnight Jack V2 pretty much. Second go round for the Midnight Jack and it's one of my favorite Jack Wolf models. This is my original and as you can see it's nice and well worn and used. I have used this thing an awful lot and there's a, several reasons for it. This is back when you could get the micarta covers, and this is also back whenever they were in M390. Now, my particular one has these crazy chaotic resin scales on them, or covers, I'm sorry. They have a lot of depth to them. There's some clear spots that you can kind of like see down. I'm definitely not gonna be able to capture that. Nice contouring on the scales, and I love, love whenever I can pinch and pull on these. This one has a long pull right here, and the pull is nice. It makes, of course, those nice thwack sounds. The walk and talk on this particular one, I would have to say, is in, compared to all my other Jack Wolf knives, this one is the strongest. And it's not. In, it's about the same in the pull right here, but the finish is probably the strongest. And then this, the closure right there to the half stop position, is definitely stronger than my other ones now you know that could vary from from knife to knife but they are usually pretty consistent but i love I always love whenever i can pinch and open because my fingernails are all jacked up especially after my accident they're real brittle so what's so special about this one for me is that warncliffe blade not to mention you have this deep deep hollow grind that comes down super super thin i mean like a scalpel then you have that needle-like tip right there that is excellent for doing precision work. Like if you need to trace something out, you could easily do it. Drag cuts, it's going to go through it like a scalpel. And that's about 90% of what I do. You know, most of the things I'm doing from day to day with my knives are either breaking into a package, uh, tracing out something, trying to get something cut out cutting a piece of string, a lot of in-hand cutting, and a Warncliffe blade is really, really going to excel at that type of stuff. So that's one of the reasons why I gravitate toward this one. I like the size as well. Coming in at like 6.88 inches, I think, overall. It's got a 2.87 inch blade and a 3.78 inch handle. So I can easily get four fingers on it and I have some left over. So it should fit your large, maybe even extra large hands nicely. And I like how it flares out on that handle. You have an excellent sharpening trial on this one. So you should have some sharpening life before it'll start to flare out in the back right there. That nice top swedge thins out that tip, giving you that scalpel tip. So this one is outstanding for utility cuts and if you're honest with yourself most people especially somebody who's carrying and using a slip joint is probably doing more utility tasks than a knot you know getting into a box breaking down a box cutting some rope string uh, getting into that clam shell packaging you know all that type of stuff this thing's going to really excel now if you do a lot of cutting on a flat surface like a lot of food prep then this is probably not going to be the knife for you unless you can lift it up onto something to cut through it because you're only going to get that forward portion. I don't do a lot of that stuff and whenever I am doing food prep, I usually have kitchen knives around. So that's not a big deal for me. I do, like I said, 90, probably 98% of the stuff I do is either in hand or on a flat surface doing some drag cuts, stuff like that. This one's in CPMS 90V Steel, an outstanding choice for a slip joint because the reason I carry a slip joint is because, especially the Jack Wolf slip joints, is because they're ground so thin and they slice so well. They slice better than the majority of a lot of my other production folders. If it wouldn't be for that, would I carry them? I don't know. I do like the modern traditional take on these knives and... You know, there's something about a slip joint it gives you that nostalgic feeling, especially, you know, depending on your age. I know my grandpa carried a slip joint. He's no longer with me anymore. And of course, my dad carried a slip joint as well. So it's it's cool. And it brings me back to whenever I was a kid, seeing those adults using the slip joints and because that's pretty much all they used to carry. And it kind of gets me excited. And then Jack Wolf comes out with these awesome ones. 
that not only slice great, they look beautiful because they have some exotic materials on them. You have the titanium and you have the phosphor bronze washers in that pivot, giving it that very, very silky smooth action. Of course, everything that I cut with this did not struggle in the least. The M391 performed outstanding and the S90V, I've tested a lot of Jack Wolf's S90V and it holds up even better than the M390 and it's a much more aggressive cutter. If you've never used S90V, especially after you sharpen it, if you leave a like a, say a 600 grit edge on it and make it nice and toothy, it's a very, very aggressive cutter because you have a lot of vanadium carbide in there, which is part of the reason why it can get so aggressive. Now, let's take a look at this handle area. You have contouring on the tie and the resin covers right here. They even knocked off the hard edges so you don't have any sharp edges where you don't want them to be. You have some nice transitions going all the way around. You have a nice brush finish on the stainless steel back spring. It looks very nice. And of course, no high spots. Everything's nice and flush, nice and tight. You're flush in the open position flush in the half stop and of course your flush in the closed position. They come with beautiful polished titanium hardware, Torx T10 for the pivot, T8 for the cover screws, perfect centering on my knife and overall no matter which grip I hold this thing in it's nice and comfortable because like I said you have you know, pretty neutral handle. There's no crazy toils or anything. And then you have this little flare out that fills out these two fingers nicely. Gives me a nice, powerful grip, which is awesome because that Warren Cliff is going to give you full power from heel to tip because of it being a straight edge. So as much as you push down, it's going to stay that, that same power all the way down to that tip. All Jack Wolf knives come with a nice leather slip. They fit nicely. And they carry nicely. They patina really well. Also, weight with the sheath is 2.91 ounces. Without the sheath is 2.33 ounces. Some quick size comparisons. We have the Benchmade Proper and the Lion Steel Roundhead. It's almost identical to the length of the Roundhead. And two locking folders. We have the Civivi Elementum and the Ontario Rat Model 2. As far as nitpicks and complaints, I really don't have any because the band of Jack Wolf knives is very attentive and listens to the customers and to uh, people who review the knives. And if there was any mistake on it or something that you know people didn't like, he fixes. So there's nothing on this particular knife that I really see that jumps out to me. It has a good sharpening toil. Um, every, the fitment is excellent. The walk and talk is excellent. And overall, it's an outstanding package. If this one is still available, I'm sure these won't, this particular one won't last long. So if you want it, you might want to just grab it. All right, guys and girls, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave those down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.